Today I'm working on a amplifier uh, circuitry for a 1951 Rockola jukebox. It's sitting over there in pieces and we're getting to it. But what I want to talk about today is something that a lot of people miss that they don't quite get. And it's important not only in arcade games, or jukeboxes, whatever, but also in just your normal everyday um if you have to rewire something in your house a lot of people we see 110 and we plug it into the house and a lot of people say oh it doesn't really matter you know which wire goes where it's 110 it's alternating current it doesn't well it really does matter especially when it comes to wiring things up and i want to go over this and show you really really quick some some what why it's so very very important and when I was wearing this, obviously you can see why this is power cord coming in and you can see why all the insulation is just burned off the thing. So I want to replace the power cord, which is that. It's just a mess. Oh my gosh, it's a terrible mess. It's got to go. So we're going to replace that. But when I do, I don't want to just take two wires just take my new plug and just plug the wire in. I want to make sure I put the right wire in the right place when we plug it in. And the original wiring had only two wires, a hot and a ground and a neutral. But I'm going to actually put in three, and I'm going to end up bringing one of the grounds, the earth ground, into one of these here, so that we ground it out because safety, right? We don't want to hurt anybody. But the other thing that's really probably more important is we want to make sure, definitely more important, we want to make sure we get these two wires correct and how they plug into the wall correctly. And let's talk about how that works. When you look at a wall plug, a typical modern wall plug looks like this. There's a neutral, there's a hot, and there's an earth ground, okay? These two back at the breaker box are actually connected together, okay? So you can touch these two all day long and not get shot. It's only when you bring in this guy, the hot, that's where you bring in power in. That's the that's where the where the issue comes in. And we got to make sure that we keep that guy isolated. And let me show you why why that and how that works. So we're going to go in here to I have a a meter box. And I have a standard wall plug here in my shop. I'm going to take the black wire. I'm going to stick it right in there. And now I've, that's on the neutral side. And we're going to probe the hot side. And looky there, we're going to get 110 volts out of it. Okay. If we move this black wire down here to the earth ground, like that. And again, probe the looky there 110 so it doesn't matter which one of these goes in i get 110 but if i probe here and here i don't get any juice there's no there's nothing there it's only when i go back over here that we have power and that's why it's so important that we get this right when we go to plug the wire in and let me show you why that really does make a difference so here's the way this works. The two wires come in here. This wire is actually the ground wire. If you see over here, this goes to a service outlet. Okay. This switch over here, it actually goes to another plug here that goes up to a switch. And this is the power switch. This is how they turn the thing on and off was through this. Now, you never know what you run across. This was a 1951 model, and somebody wired across here to here. This wire was originally coming in, plugged in there, which should have gone through these two plugs, through a switch, and back out, right? But what they did was they did this, tied those two together, and effectively cut out that switch. Now, they may have done that for a couple reasons. The switch may be bad, so they just bypassed it by doing this. 
The other side was it could be that they had this plugged into a spot where it was just hard to get to the back of the jute box to turn it on and off. So by doing this, they could just turn the main breaker on and off and it would turn the jute box on and off. But you don't know that, right? And we could have plugged this thing in not knowing this. And remember, this is this was sitting upside down because there's the top of it. This was sitting down in the floor of the jute box. You had no idea that they had bypassed the power. You plug it in thinking, oh, we'll just plug it in, then turn the switch on. Well, as soon as you plug it in, you got power because of that little wire right there. Now, I've taken that off and I'm going to replace it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this one, this wire coming in, these two here, the hot and the ground. So which one do we pull the hot to? Remember, we have a neutral and then we have the hot. That's the only two really we're messing with. Well... You could put these backwards and the system would be perfectly happy, mostly happy, with the hot going over here, neutral, it's, eight, it's 110, most of it goes through the, it's all 110, so it's alternating, so it kind of works. But the problem is, if you do that, everything is live now. See, what you want to do is you want this hot wire the wire that comes from the from the hot side of the plug you want that hot to come in and go through the switch because you when you turn that switch off you want the hot you want the power to be disconnected if you have them reversed you can turn that on and off but all you've done is turn off the ground which means this thing still has hot juice in it because they're hooked up backwards. It's very, very, very important that when you look at replacing your wires, whether even if that's in your standard lamp in your house, think about it in your lamp. You have a lamp cord that you want to replace in your house. Well, that lamp has a switch on it. That switch should be switching power, the hot, on and off. If you put the wires in there backwards, the switch is just switching off ground, which doesn't do anything, which means that that lamp is still carrying 110 volts in it. Don't do that. You've got to know where your hots come in, where your switches are, and make sure when you put the new plug in that the hot wire, the one that goes to the small plug, right? How it's oriented you want that small that wire should be white come in here and tie to there or black rather it should be black tie into there and then your white which is neutral should go to here see they even had these backwards and I don't know if that wire is hooked up right or not but it looks like that's even backwards because the in 110 American 110 the white wire is your neutral and your black wire is your hot or your live so we want to make sure that we put these in the right place right you want to make sure the black wire comes in and goes here and through the switch and the white wire which is neutral goes here and then I'm going to bring the green wire and tie it in there Folks, don't get them wrong. If you're going to hook up, if you're going to change out a power cord into a device that has a switch in it, or you really, really, really need to make sure that the hot wire goes to the switched components and the ground wire goes to everything else. Okay? All right. Very important. So I've got the new wire plugged in. This was a cord I bought new. Um, and it's got the standard coloring. Black for your life or hot. White for neutral. And green for the earth ground. So as I said before, my green earth ground was just going to go to the case to give me a good earth ground. The neutral comes over here to start into the neutral sections of the circuitry. But the hot or live wire comes over here 
which will tie into where that switch goes up top. One of the nice things about this plug that I like about it is if you look at the end of the plug, they're even labeled. See the N for neutral, L for line, and above the round one, E for earth ground. But just for grins, I took my multimeter and I owned them out and I made sure that what it said was live was truly the black wire and that's where it goes there. So there she is, she's done. Folks, don't mess this up. It's very important. Could be a matter of life and death or burning down a house. Make sure your, your hot wire goes to the switch components and not your neutrals.